celebration. Rebecca. Any visitors in here? Knock the dust off the Bible. Because you know we don't frequent Rebecca. Two verses two through three. And when you find it, can you please say amen? amen. Matter of fact, it's on your oh do you, you have a program? All right, all right, it's right there. And it says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run with that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end of it shall speak, shall it speak, and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Jeremiah, three fifteen. And I will give you pastors according to thine own heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And we want to continue on your thought that you have for your leaders, leaders from the heart of God, following the vision and pursuing God's purpose. God bless you. Leaders from the heart of God. Let's look at the clock, because I know it's a school day and a work day, and you guys look like you eager to get to work in school. So the Spirit told me to help you out. <laughs> we thank God for you. It's interesting to note, because this is this passage of Scripture, as I was uh, studying and going through it, Dr. Harden, uh, I was highly enlightened um, and I'm going to try it spiritually I think the spirit is backing me up backwards through this so we can cut across the field a little bit to get to where we need to get to we're talking about leaders from the heart of God following the vision and pursuing God's purpose now, uh, Jeremiah, Prophet Jeremiah, had a heavy burden on his shoulders. And Jeremiah's sole purpose was to preach to the remnant that was in captivity. Uh, 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 um, and, 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 and here in the text uh, just stay with me here in the text uh, wait I'm trying to find I, I'm talking to you guys and I can't find it uh, here in the text it's amazing because Jeremiah uh, makes it plain that he he, he, he proclaims uh, 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 about the Assyrian captivity, and Jeremiah's thought here is, is 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 even though you're in captivity, you should learn to still live. That's right. That's right. You got you got even though you you go through some things, you got to still know how to uh, live and and not just live any kind of way. Uh, 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 God is merciful and, and if you're going to be a child of God and, and he wanted them to know this he wanted the exiles to know this the remnant that was left and he made it plain that, that, that God would don't, uh, don't panic because you're having some hard times but, 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 but after a while God was going to send a preacher some pastors that were after his own heart uh, uh, what will these pastors do? These pastors, what will they do? They will maintain godly character. All right, all right. In other words, they had to have a good name. Right. There couldn't be no shade tree brothers. Right. They had to have a good name. 
they had to, they had to hold, hold to godly convictions. In other words, uh, God's word had to be in their heart. And then, 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 then they had to demonstrate godly compassion. In other words, they needed to be filled with the Holy Ghost. I heard a preacher. I don't want to plagiarize and think that you think I made this up. I heard a preacher who heard it from another preacher. Explain what faith is. And what the preacher said, faith, get this, is acting as if something is true. Even though it doesn't appear to be true. In order that it might be shown to be true. Simply because God said it's true. I wish I had said that, Jack. I wish I had said that one. Faith is acting as if something is true. Even though it doesn't appear to be true. In order that it might be shown to be true. Simply because God said it's true. That's living in a house before you make an earnest or a down payment. That's smelling a new car smell even before you drive. That's getting the job even before you fill out an application. That's feeling better even before you go to the doctor. Faith is acting as if something is true. Even though it doesn't appear to be true. In order that it might be shown to be true. Simply because God said it's true. If God said it. It's going to come to pass. Somebody said it may not come when you want him. But it's always on time. When God shows up, he'll make a way for you. When God shows up, he's right on time. When God shows up, he'll tame your enemies. When God shows up, he'll open doors. When God shows up, he'll dry your tears. When God shows up, if he said it, I believe it. If he said it, I believe it. Uh, uh, uh. In order for the human heart to love a sovereign God who does not always act predictable faith must affirm what it cannot prove in order for the human heart to love a sovereign God uh, that does not always act predictable or act in predictable ways. Faith must affirm what it cannot prove. I can't prove that there is a God. But I got some evidence. I can't prove ontologically that God exists. I can't prove teleologically that God sits on the throne. I can affirm existentially that God is in heaven, but I got some evidence. Not empirical evidence, but experiential evidence. In other words, I got some experience. My experience with him validates and affirms that if it was not for God, 
where would I be? I've been in some situations. Only God. You looking at me like you ain't been in nothing. Only God. That's why I love that song. Through many dangers. Toys and snares. I have. Oh, you said it. Oh, ready, come. See, some of us think we made it because of our money. Oh, no, but your money going to run out. Some of us think we make it because of our good looks. Oh, your good looks going to run out. I didn't say that in my mind, huh? Some of us think we're going to make it because of our education. But your mind is going to play out. I know that there is a God. I can't prove it. But I got some evidence. How you know, Atkins? He walks with me. And he talks with me. And he tells me. I'm his own. I can't prove it, but I got some evidence. You look at me crazy if you want to. Seely said it right. All day is a God. Everybody who's in here tonight, everybody, everybody in here uh, who's a Christian. I believe all of us in here are Christians. Everybody in here is a Christian and have a past. You, you, you can help me with this. You can help me with this. God can draw a straight line with a crooked stick. See, that went over some of y'all heads. God can draw a straight line with a crooked stick. I need some crooks up in here. Anybody have some crooks up in here? You, you can sit here and look all holy if you want to. I need some crooks up in here. I, I need some crooks up in here. Uh, 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 uh. Need some crooks. You, you got some stuff that you don't want nobody to know about. Oh, you got some stuff. I can look how black your lips are. I can tell you got some stuff. Your fingernails are black at the tip. I can tell you got some stuff. You got some stuff you don't want nobody. But, but, but God let you teach Sunday school. God let you preach. God let you sing in the choir. Don't you tell me. I'm not talking about no super saved folk. Super saved. I'm not talking about what did I say the other night uh, when I was talking. With, we were talking. Uh, uh, I'm not talking about no fruit inspectors. <laughs> Folks that like to walk around and inspect everybody else's fruit. You need to feel your own fruit. I'm not talking about no holier than thou folk. I'm talking about some folks that done been drunk. Some folks that didn't been lied on and also told a lie. Some folks who didn't fornicate it. Some folks who didn't been in trouble. But the Lord covered your stuff. When you could have been exposed, He looked beyond my faults. And so my knees. Don't you tell me. Don't you tell me God can't draw no straight line with a crooked stick. Cause you know you ain't no good. Rotten to the core. But God makes a way out of nowhere. 
you quit criticizing folk. Point your fingers at folk when they mess up. Because it was not for the grace of God. We'd all be messed up. Whole problem is some folks just ain't been caught yet. Uh, so there are times even when I can't affirm that God lives even when I can't prove it I still got to affirm it that God is God I love him anybody here love him Anybody in here ever loved him and still lost your job? Anybody in here praise him and somebody in your family still dies? Anybody in here give him your life and you go outside and your car was still repossessed? I get up, I trust him, I read the Bible and the supervisor still lets me go. Then some fool comes around and says, How can you let God do that to you? How can you? All of us got some friends that want to tell us some how. How can you let how can you let God? How can you how can God let that happen to you? And that's when my faith kicks in and affirm what I cannot prove that's when it kicks in this 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 life is just crazy we got a crazy man in office I don't I don't know I, I shouldn't have said that because some of y'all might might like him <laughs> But, 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 but as I told my, my, the, the church Sunday when I was preaching Sunday, I told them, don't you know black folks didn't in the 20s, uh, the, the black folks didn't know when there was a, a depression? <laughs> it, it, when you was in school, when you were in school and they showed you all the pictures and you saw them on TV, you don't see, you don't see black folks in the soup lines. No, no. Black folks were still eating pig feet. <laughs> Neck bones, fat back back, neck, something, whatever they was eating. You know why? Because God has always brought us through. That's why we preach differently than other folk. That's why we sing differently than other folk. Because God has made a way. I'm, 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 I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick of this kind of, this kind of, this kind of penny any faith. This kind of, this kind of nickel dime faith. We were talking about this in my house the other night. How you get faith to another level. Faith, 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 faith. Sick, sick of it. And it's uh, just, 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 this, this easy going faith. Although there's no fruit on the vine, no cattle in the stone, no figs on the tree, I will rejoice. Yeah. I will rejoice. Rebecca. Rebecca had an issue. This, this is a conversation he prophesies to the exiles in this portion of the text in chapter 2 but in chapter 1 he asked a series of questions but one of the problems was his, the dialogue in this text is strictly between Rebecca and God that, 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 that's, 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 that's who it is Rebecca was troubled because it seems like to be there was divine indifference 
and, 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 and oppression and the law was slack and, 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 and looked like nobody would get any justice justice would never go forth and the Lord indicates but the worst is yet to come now Becca was upset because God used an outside source check this out to discipline his people God used an outside source the Babylonians to discipline his people God will do whatever he needs to do to discipline his, the ones he loves and Rebecca had a problem Rebecca said hey 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 God look 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 how long how long are you going to do this to us how long are you going to do this to your people oh God was going to give him an answer but the answer didn't come until chapter 2 but Rebecca said well I tell you what until you give me an answer I'm going to wait right here I'm going to wait right here. We're talking about a plea from a man with the heart of faith. I'm going to wait right here. Then he says, the Lord came and answered. Now this is what the Lord say. The Lord says to Rebecca, I tell you what, Rebecca, since you want to complain and, 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 and that's all right, I'm not mad at you for complaining, but I'm going to give you instructions on what I want you to do. He says, write the vision. That's what he tells him. Write the vision. Make it plain. So folks will run and read it. Because for the vision is yet for an appointed time. Well, let me see, can I make this plain for you? He said, write the vision. In other words, and that's okay if you do this. You can take out a piece of paper, write down, but you don't necessarily have to write it with an ink pen. But he wants you to write the vision. Write down what you want God to do. Did everybody hear what I'm saying? This is what the pastor is teaching us right here in this thing. Write the vision and make it plain. Write it write it plain so folks will come and, and, and read it uh, 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 the vision is not going to come to pass yet it's an appointed time for the vision but when it says to make it plain one of the things that, 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 that we, don't, we don't get and understand is when God says I, I want you to make it plain you need to learn how to be specific in your praying Stop grumbling. Don't complain when God's hand of discipline is upon you. One of the things, one of the things, one of the things I remember, I remember when my mother used to whoop me. I remember. And, and, and you guys ever heard anybody tell you this? I know you have. Some of y'all look like some tough mamas and grandmamas, boy. It, it, where, where they tell you, Son, this is going to hurt me. More than it hurts you. And I'm sure, I'm sure in my fifth, sixth grade mind, I'm like, well, if it's going to do it, don't do it to me then. <laughs> but what this is saying is, God don't want to have to discipline his people. But it's my Christian. You see, since I have children and, and, and grandchild, it's my Christian duty to lay hands. You, 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 you hear what I'm saying? This will help you straighten yourself out so the police don't have to get a hold of you. That's why God has to sometimes discipline us. He has to sometimes discipline us as we hurry on to close we understand here he tells us he tells us he tells us he tells us he says write the vision and make it plain 
be specific. I know a lot of you in here tonight, you need some stuff tomorrow. No. You need some stuff now. And God wants us to be specific in what you're asking for. So when you're praying, Father, I don't know where my son is. I don't know where the address is. I don't even know what street he's on. But oh God, make a way. Bring him home tonight. Right now. One of the things, one of the things, you remember it was the fourth watch. It was the fourth watch of the evening. And Jesus was walking on the water. And Jesus and the disciples were in the boat. And if you recall, Peter was there. And he said, Father, Master, bid me to come. Yeah. And Jesus said, Peter, come. And the Bible says Peter stepped out of the boat. And he walked on the water. Uh -huh. It said he walked on the water. Yeah. He didn't walk long. Right. He didn't walk far. But he walked on the water. Yeah. Yeah. Until, until the Bible says, he says, until, until he got distracted by the wind. And that's when Peter started to sink. And we have to learn to keep our focus. And in the instant when Peter started to sink, watch this. Peter did not say, uh, I'm praying, oh God, that the four corners of my room was not the four corners of my grave. When Peter started sinking, he didn't say, here I am, Lord, knee bent, body bowed. When he was there, Peter didn't pray for the missionary society. When Peter started sinking, he didn't pray for the sick in the shed in. But when Peter went down, he said, save me, save me, save me. I need you right now. Save me, save me. Faith has to be active in the midst of adversity God will show up anybody here no God will show up anybody here no God will show up how do you know I was sinking deep in sin for from the peaceful shore very deeply staying within seeking to rise no more I'm going to pull a Dr. Hart but the master of the sea heard my despairing cry from the water from the water from the water from the water, he lifted me. Save, save, save. Am I love, love? Anybody know it was love? It was love. Love that lifted me. How you know it was love? Because one Friday, love nailed him to the tree. Love hung him high. Love. Rebecca was a man of faith. Are you hearing me? Rebecca had a tremendous faith. That's what our pastors have right here. Faith. You can't always see what they see. I know what you think. I'm a PK too. Somebody always want to outthink the pastor. Somebody want to go. Spirit told you 
you go around the pastor and God going to give you a thought on the other side you sit your tail down God ain't going around. No. He will move them out the way first. You're not doing nothing but getting yourself in some deep. Watch this. I'm going to use an old street word. Kaka. Y'all say we family, right? You getting yourself in hot water. And he will send a stranger to discipline you. We're talking about faith. That's, 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 that's what all this was about. I'm sitting down. Look, I preach. Son, look, I did 35 minutes. He looking at his watch. Still too long. faith. Habakkuk had a tremendous amount faith over the top. Did you hear what I said? And that's what we were talking about at my, at my home. We were talking about the, the levels of faith. See, when you have the gift of faith, you, you walk into the Mercedes dealer and you say, give me that one you don't have the keys yet so you sit down and then go boom, 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 boom. everybody hear what I'm saying you 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 got to you got to you we talked about putting legs to feet to faith and all that kind of stuff yeah 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 I got that and and, and that's that's good you you keep doing it because God builds your faith God builds your faith but 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 I'm 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 thanking God I'm 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 to the point I'm almost I ain't quite there now I'm not quiet I'm not quiet I'm not I'm not quiet he working on me but I'm almost to the point where I can say give me that house. See, I can do it with small stuff. I can do it with small stuff. I can do it with shoes and suits. I want those shoes. That's easy stuff now. You, you understand what I'm saying? But, but, but now when you start getting in tall cotton, faith. Stand to your feet. 